This is the homemade sportsman. You can see where my temp average it is 99.5 and it never moves. 60, 60 to 69 percent humidity. Usually, what what I have holding in here. My first big hatch is out of here. I had a few uh, stragglers that come out uh, in a few more days. So. STC 1000 and it is set on 100 degrees that's what I set it on and this is the old freezer that I turned into a hatcher and I took the double here, let me get me the rag to clean the window off. I took me the double pane glass that I had in here because the uh, I needed to work on it and I had a hatch come out before I could replace it. Okay, guys, hang on. Now, now you can see in here. Huh. <laughs> Old chicks popping out everywhere. Literally popping out everywhere There's something I've already had already moved out one coming out right there you see my humidity tray I got a little 15 watt light set up in there that's the induction hole that goes in the heat box fan blows air in there big fan up at the top right there circulates air that is the induction fan that pushes air out of in the side of here into the heat box I built into that channel right there which is where the compressor sat I've got a basically a GQF um, 225 watt heating element strung in there with a big old 30, uh, 36 volt DC fan pushing it in there All right, well, they're hatching out, and there's one coming out right there. He's kicking out the egg. Heck, I'm going to go ahead and move the egg out of there. He's going to get out of it. There it is. There we go. Humidity's high out here. A lot of you folks, whenever you hear me say Central South Carolina, you think that means I'm from Central South Carolina. That is referring to the middle of South Carolina, the central of South Carolina, middle of South Carolina. We're in the uh, in the suburbs of Camden, South Carolina. But there's a look, my homemade sportsman out of a Magic Chef dorm room refrigerator. That's what I built it out of. This is an old hot point chest freezer turned on its side. It's turned on its side like this. Turned it on its side and uh, made it into a big, big hatcher. And as you see, it works very, very, very well. Look at that, I got one punching out right there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. This thing was dirty. I tried to clean it up as much as I could. So if it'll look over the lip of that box, there it is. One of my black coppers. Punching out. Life is never boring there. There's another one starting to zip out right next to him. Yeah. Life is never boring on the farm, guys. Hello, young ones. Okay. And see, my brooder's outside, guys, so this, they, some of them pant a little bit. It's a little warm in here. And that's only a 40 watt bulb. But it's probably 91, 92 degrees out here. 
I'll open it up and let it breeze out a little bit, but that's why we keep this vent hole in here also. And it's not sealed very tight. But anyway. Black Copper Marines. We got one older coaching in there, model coaching that happens to be in there with them, but there's all the Black Coppers. He can probably go ahead and go back with his original mm -hmm. troop. <clears throat> no? I didn't want to put him in there. <laughs> all the dark Brahmas. And then we got a mix of a uh, of white rocks, white rocks, Delawares. Oh, there's a there's a black copper. All kinds of stuff. We've got blue. We got some blue American Marines. Give me a moment. Here's what our guys, the ones that are interested in our blue American Marines. Here's a good look of what the uh, what a lot of our chicks coming out. They're clean leg, flint color, but they are a beautiful blue. And there are several several of them in here. I was gonna try to find you an example of a light powder blue. Here, uh, let me see. Here's one. Come here. And these light we get light powder blue also and a few of the and they come out blue splash as well 